What's up, guys? Today we're going to talk about Netlify and uh, hosting websites. So there, uh, this website, Netlify, what it lets you do is it actually lets you deploy uh, live websites to the Internet for free. And it also allows you to add a custom domain name to your website if you would like. I think you can purchase domain names like a .com name from Netlify. Or you can use other providers like GoDaddy or Namecheap. And I'll show you how to do that um, a little bit later in the video. But I just wanted to make you guys aware that this is an option to host your websites. Especially um, if you're trying to make like a portfolio. This is a great place to just host your little web developer portfolio website. It's also perfect for hosting your projects that you made for your portfolio. And as I said before, it's really good because it's free. The other big feature that is really good for Netlify is it allows you to hook up your GitHub account to it and you can push your GitHub uh, projects directly to Netlify and host them with like one click of a button. So that makes your life even easier. You don't have to go through a bunch of other stuff like you would have to if you purchased, um, you know, like a paid or shared hosting account on another website. So really good free option to start with. If you're a new developer, I recommend that you follow along this tutorial with me and start hosting your websites live on the web for free. All right. So go ahead, uh, go to netlify.com and go ahead and click sign up and sign up for an account. It's, it'll ask you to uh, choose between signing up with your email address or signing up directly through GitHub. And then you can authorize it to use your GitHub credentials to, to go on Netlify. Whatever you want to do, um, go ahead and choose that option. And then we'll go ahead and get started here. All right, guys, so hopefully you're able to sign up, no problem, and your Netlify account is ready to go. You should be at this dashboard now, and it should look like mine. You should have all these stuff in the left-hand bar, um, your profile, if you have a picture up here. You probably won't have websites here because these are websites that I've already um, deployed through Netlify from GitHub. And you might recognize a lot of these projects. These are a lot of the projects that I did from, like, Frontend Mentor on the channel where we code along and build stuff together. That's what those are. Um, but if you don't have that, that's okay. Just everything else should look similar. So what I want to do now is I'm going to show you guys how to add a new website and then we're going to add a custom domain .com to it so that it looks professional. So I'm going to click on this button here, add new site. And I'm going to click uh, import an existing project because I'm going to get uh, an existing project from my GitHub account. And then right here, let's deploy a project with what? Do you use GitHub, GitLab, Bitbucket, or DevOps Azure? So these are all source code savers. They're all similar programs to GitHub. So, But we're going to use GitHub. And if you don't know what Git or GitHub are, guys, I do have a full tutorial that I just made the other day that I'll post in the description. Go ahead and check that out. It'll get you up to speed, and it'll make you really comfortable with Git and GitHub right away so you know how to use them and what they are. So let's click GitHub. And then right here is all of my websites that I have on GitHub. So what I can do here is I can, let's click my JS JavaScript modal tutorial. What? And this was just a little website that I made showing you how to make like a pop-up modal with JavaScript. Again, that's on the channel. I can link that in, in the description if you're interested in that. But so we clicked on the website. Um, you'll have all of your information here. So your team, if you have a team, it'll say your team name up here. You don't really have to change anything there. Site name, we're going to leave blank. Uh, branch to deploy, you want it to be set to main. You, you want it to be your main branch. If you don't know what that is, again, view, go watch my Git and GitHub tutorial video. Base directory, build command, publish directory, all of those are going to remain blank. And then your functions directory should say Netlify slash functions, and you just leave that as it is. Don't change it. And we're going to scroll all the way to the bottom and hit deploy JS modal tutorial. So with one click of a button, guys, we're going to deploy a whole website. And that's really useful, um, super fast, super easy. And now Netlify, it's good for um, it's good for launching like just front-end websites or even it could be like a single-page React website. But if you're trying to launch like full-stack applications, I do recommend at that point that you go get some paid hosting on like a shared host, like Bluehost or SiteGround or HostGator or something like that. But if you're, again, if you're just starting out and you just want to host projects, host your portfolio, host a couple projects to show people that you know what you're doing, Netlify is just perfect for that. It's what I've used. So this is a uh, website is launching here and it says that it's building. 
it usually takes um it can take 10 30 to 30 seconds really it'll say building upload and there it is they're published so well it didn't take that long so if you click on this here this is our little domain that netlify generates for us it'll just have some kind of random scene with some letters and numbers in it so this is monumental meringue b5 eb50 dot netlify dot app so if we click on that it'll be this is like the little project that i have vanilla js modal some text read more you can click it you open the modal and we did all this with javascript and close the modal so this is it our project did successfully get launched however we don't want it to have this ugly looking domain at dot netlify dot app because that does not look professional now especially if you're going to be making a portfolio website guys you want potential employers or potential freelance clients that view your work you want them to view you as a professional and having your websites hosted on netlify is fine but having a netlify weird looking url is not okay because that just doesn't look professional they can tell that you've used some kind of some kind of little ghetto hosting system kind of even though netlify is not ghetto but it just it doesn't look good right so you want to put a real .com domain to your website, and luckily Netlify does allow you to do that, so I'm going to show you how to do that now. And again, this just makes you look professional. It makes you look legit. Even if you don't have uh, any real professional experience, nobody's really going to know if, if it's a .com website and it looks good. They're not going to know. They're not really going to question you. You know, it's one of those things where sometimes you got to fake it until you make it, right? You just want to get hired. You want to get that first job. You want to get experience. So do everything that you can to look professional. So let's just click out of this and we're going to add a custom domain now. So I'm going to go to domain management and then I'm going to click options here because I do want to show you that you can edit the site name so it doesn't have all this uh, gobbledygook randomness here if you really wanted to. It's still going to say .netlify.app at the end but it'll look a little bit better. So you can just, let's just name the site Professional JS Modal and save now as long as nobody else is using that domain on netlify it'll accept it and nobody else is so now it says professional js modal dot netlify dot app that looks a little bit better at first glance but we still want to make it professional so let's x out of that i just wanted to show you that you can edit the site name if you want and we're going to now click on add domain and then I'm going to add a domain and I have my, I'm going to, I'm already logged into Namecheap. Namecheap is who I use for my do, my domains. Um, again, you can use GoDaddy or whatever other domain registrar you want to use, or I think even Netlify sells domains now, but I'm a Namecheap guy. It's really cheap to use them. I think they come with like a free SSL certificate. So you get that little lock up here. It's really nice. It's like $8 for a, a domain name for a whole year. So that's not bad. So I'm going to go into, um, this one right here, liftwithnick.com. This is an older domain that I had. So I'm just going to click on here and I'm going to, it wants me to renew it. This is about to expire. I'm just using this for the purpose of the, tu of the tutorial. It doesn't make sense to put this on my uh, JavaScript modal website, but I'm just trying to show you guys how to do it, right? So I don't want to renew it. I'm just going to let that die out. But I, so I'll just click the button here and I want to say manage. And right here, how it, where it says custom DNS, we want to keep that page up because that's what we're going to be using. Um, we're going to be pasting the code for Netlify for their DNS so that this domain now points to Netlify. So first we're going to copy and paste our domain name right here into here because Netlify wants to know what the, no, what the domain is. So it's liftwithnick.com. We're going to click verify. And then liftwithnick.com is already registered. If you registered this domain through a different registrar, which we did, our name cheap, select add domain to add it to your site. So we can do that now. Let's just click add domain. And then what we're going to do now is we're going to, uh, we're going to add the information that we need from Netlify into our custom DNS area. So instead of saying site ground, it'll be pointing to Netlify. So I'm going to delete those. Go over here. I'm going to click options where it says livewithnick.com primary domain. We're going to select options and click set up Netlify DNS. And then we're going to click verify. And then we're going to click add domain. And then we're going to click continue. 
And now it's telling us update your domain name servers to these, so these four. So we're gonna copy and paste them. I'm gonna select the first one, paste it into my name server under custom DNS. So if you're on Namecheap, it might start out with saying Namecheap basic day DNS. Just go to name servers, click this drop down, and go to custom. That's how you get there, okay? So that's our first one. Let's get our second one. So there's four of these that we have to add, so we're gonna add all four. So there's two. I'm gonna click add name server because we got another one. That's three. And then one more. And that's four. And then I'm gonna hit this check mark up here to save them. And then if it's successful, you get this message, DNS server update may take up to 48 hours to take effect. Now that means it could take up to two days for Netlify to push this domain name up to your website and have it be running. It usually doesn't take that long. It takes up to like, uh, you know, up to an hour maybe at the most in my experience and you should be good to go. If it's like a day or longer, there's probably something wrong. So let's go over here now. We're going to click done because we just added those to Namecheap and saved them. And now what I'm going to do, so we have check marks here, so we should be good to go. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go down here to this HTTPS SSL certificate. And there should be an SSL certificate that came with this domain name already. So I'm just going to hit verify DNS configuration, see if that'll work. And it did. We got a check mark right away. So sometimes it won't work right away. Again, like I said, sometimes it'll take like an hour for everything to update. But for us, it worked right away. If it doesn't work right away for you, don't worry. We don't really even need this SSL certificate for this little project, but it's nice to have. So now we'll have that little lock up in the corner and it'll be sec a secure connection. So I'm gonna go back to site overview and I'm gonna click and you can see now that uh, liftwithnick.com is showing and, and it's the real domain name instead of that random one that we had at .netlify.app. So let's click on this and see if it works. And there it is. So right now it says not secure. Again, this is, uh, it'll take some time to update to HTTPS and it'll have a lock here, but I don't want to wait a whole hour for that. We did verify our certificate just now when we clicked that button. So it'll eventually change on its own. You don't have to worry about it as long as you verified it and you got your, your domain name came with an SSL certificate. So to be honest, I, I don't really remember exactly. I think maybe Netlify gives it to you for free. The other way I've never bought an SSL certificate. It's always just been there for free so i don't i don't I honestly don't know if it's if it's netlify or if it's uh name cheap but it's neither here nor there i do get a free one every time so yeah the guys that's how you do it that's how you set it up oh look now it is now it's uh https so it actually did update right there within another minute or so so now it is secure with the ssl certificate but again not like it matters that much but like now it says connection is secure and our project works we have a professional domain so uh, guys, that's how you use Netlify to host websites. Again, it's really good for hosting little front-end projects for free and then your portfolio website. As long as it's not like a full-stack application, you'll be good to go with Netlify. You won't have to pay anything. It's really good hosting. And um, adding that domain is just, you know, whatever. For $10 a website or $10 a project when you're trying to start your career and get jobs and get clients, it's well worth the investment to make everything look as professional as possible. Even if you didn't build it for a client, all of your projects should have a .com domain, okay? And that's how you do it. Um, again, I do recommend Namecheap. They're not paying me for this video or anything like that, but I've just, you know, it's the cheapest domain names out there and it's really easy to use. So um, that's going to be it for this video, guys. I do want to thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.